Hello, my name is Krishna Rath and I'm a Civil Registry Investment Advisor and I'm going to share my thoughts on the Karnataka verdict and its impact on the Sensex and FT. If we take the last 52 weeks of data, we can clearly see that the uptrend started from early 2017 and peaked just before the 2018 budget. Since then, with the budget and the Karnataka election results, the market has been in a range. The markets fell exactly 38% to the 9950 levels before rising to the 10,900 levels and then has been again falling down. Markets do not like uncertainty and hence, until the next general election, let's expect a range-bound market between 9600 levels and the 10600 levels on the Nifty. So what does it mean to the two kinds of people in the market, the trader and the investor? For the traders, the game should be to play the key support and key resistant levels. Just remember that the bears might slightly dominate the bull market. So whenever you see the market going or hitting higher, higher ups, it's best to short. Uh, for the investors, this is the best time to start the SIPs and even sometimes allocate a little bit more when the market comes crashing down. The political picture is now very clear. It's either a BJP-led coalition or a united opposition one, which means post-election there will be a very strong coalition uh, and that will try to remain for the next possible five years. And which means that the market is not expecting multiple elections every alternate.